what's up you guys so i was scrolling on google the other day looking up various christmas movies that i wanted to see or what i should put on my radar and i noticed this article that read 20 of the best black christmas movies to get you in the holiday spirit um treat yourself to a very medea christmas and this was by Mackenzie jean felipe from December 23rd, 2021. So I want to read off these 20 black Christmas movies that'll get you in the holiday spirit, according to McKenzie. <laughs> okay, movie number one, Merry Little Christmas Baby. Now this was um, introduced to the world back in 2021, so last year. And Kelly Rowland returns as Jackie just a year after their holiday wedding. The tech entrepreneur and her now husband Tyler expecting their first child. But they are not the only members of the hilarious little crew who are ready to add new members to the family. Ooh. <laughs> Movie number two. Jingle Jangle. Now, this was introduced to us back in 2020, and everybody went absolutely wild for it. I mean, the music was amazing. The story writing was amazing. The casting was great. So this is about um, a star-studded cast and music by John Legend. This enchanting holiday fantasy is a delightful film to watch with the entire family on Christmas Day. It tells the story of a formerly successful toy maker who loses his job when he when his apprentice steals his prize intervention. When his apprentice steals his prize invention. Years later, his pr pr his precautious granddaughter is determined to right the wrongs of the past. I love this movie. I've personally seen it and it's so good. Number three, A Chestnut Family Christmas. After accidentally agreeing to host her family for the holidays, private chef Nina Chestnut invites the group of her boss family invites the group of her boss home and pretends it's her home invites the group to her boss's home and pretend it's her own but of course her secret isn't kept for long <laughs> number four a sisterly christmas in the hopes of bringing them closer together christina and vicky's aunt sends them on a luxurious vacation for the holidays but as the sisters began to address their differences their differences Someone from their past threatens to break their bond. Hmm. And that was also released in 2021. Um, going back to Chestnut Christmas, also 21. Okay. And last year, Kirk Franklin released Kirk Franklin's A Gospel Christmas. And this Grammy-winning choir director wrote and arranged the songs featured in this film, which follows a young pastor named Olivia, who's challenged with leading a new church just a month before Christmas. But as she embraces life changes and even finds romance, Olivia begins to feel at home. This just feels like a hearty Christmas movie. I love it. And then the singing, of course, it's phenomenal. Uncle Kirk, you went crazy. <laughs> Number six, A Holiday Chance, also debuted in 2021. Rival sisters, Ni Noel and Naomi, are forced to come together after their father's sudden death over the holiday, over the Christmas holidays. They're now tasked with taking over his multi-million dollar film company, ensuring that his legacy and business stays intact. I personally haven't seen this one, but that sounds so good. Oh, wait. No, I have seen this one. Yeah, I have. Okay, number seven, Our Christmas Journey. Love this one. Robinson Pete is Lena, a single mom of an autistic son who comes to the realization that it's time for him some, it's time to give him some independence. But as she learns to let go, an unexpected holiday romance makes a transition a little bit easier which is so sweet. We love love. Okay, number eight, Christmas Bells, which was debuted in 2019. Best friends Delilah and Portia are successful, independent, and single. Sounds like me and Janessia. <laughs> so when a handsome new pastor moves into town, both women are determined to face off and win his heart. Does not sound like me and Janessia. We actually do not have the same taste in guys. Thank the Lord. 
Okay, number nine, throwback Chris, throwback holidays. This was debuted in 2018. And now adult Jackie can't help but reminisce about her days as a teen when she was the popular it girl. We've all been there. Now, despite being married to her high school sweetheart, she's miserable. So after running with a handsome former classmate, Jackie wishes for to be taken back in time. And in a twist of events, she actually is. Now, this is a good movie about perception and perspective. Um, we can perceive things to be a certain way and they actually come up and like bite us in the tail, you know, for not being grateful and not taking into account what we have and being grateful for what we have. So this is a great movie. Um, I definitely recommend. Number 10, Christmas Deja Vu. Christmas hasn't been the same for Candy since her father died, but her holiday season finally seems like it'll turn around when an angel grants her a wish to become a famous singer. Hmm. Number 11, a holiday calendar. Love this one. And I love Kat Graham. Like, who doesn't love her? Oh my gosh. A struggling photographer inherits her family's antique advent calendar that just happens to predict the future. Its magical properties bring her love and professional success. She's amazing. I love this movie. Number 12, Almost Christmas. This was from back in 2016. Woo, that's been some years. A star-studded A-list class plays the dysfunctional Mayer family who reunites for a dramatic Christmas one year after their matriarch's death. Number 13th, A Medea Christmas. Y'all know Medea is funny, so you know this movie is crazy. Bring it its very own special brand of Medea Christmas spirit. This follow this story follows Tyler Perry's hit character as she travels to her niece's daughter's small home. Number 14, Black Nativity. Baltimore teen Langston, the son of a single mother, played by Jennifer Hudson, visits NYC for Christmas to spend the holidays with his estranged relatives. But in the face of their strict rules, he set out on a journey to return back home. Number 15, The Best Man Holiday. Everybody loves this one. I can't believe that was 2013. Wow. Life is just really moving so fast. Anyways, in the sequel to one of the great Black romance movies, this star-studded ensemble cast plays a group of college friends who reunite, reunite over the holidays despite their old rivalries, romance, and various life stages. Ooh, number 16, This Christmas. Cannot believe this was 2007. Oh, everybody looks like babies here. Look at Chris and Lauren. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. Wow. Just wow. Everyone. Like, wow. Anyways, um, the Whitfield family matriarch uh, reunites her large family for Christmas for the first time in four years. But a number of uncovered secrets threatens to dampen the holiday spirit. The Perfect Holiday, 2007. Wow. That is wild. I cannot believe it. The youngest daughter of a divorced mother of three hatches a plan to cheer her mom up during the holidays. She has a department store, Santa Claus, pay her mother a compliment. As they say, the rest is history. <laughs> Number 18, last holiday. After learning that she has a terminal illness, the saleswoman takes out all of her life savings and lives it up in Europe. She charms everyone she meets, including a renowned chef. But the one person she really wants in her new life is her longtime crush. Number 19, Friday After Next, which y'all are going to probably kill me in the comments, but I've not seen any of the movies from the Friday series. I know, crazy, but whatever. So, in the third installment of the cult classic Friday series, Ghetto Santa Claus steals everything friends Craig and Day Day have to their name, including their rent money, in order to get 
in order to not get evicted, they get jobs as mall security guards. <laughs> and last but not least, the preacher's wife, which is played by Whitney Houston, Denzel Washington, just an iconic duo. Whitney, may you rest in peace. A reverend is offered help by an angel, Denzel Washington, who is going through a midlife crisis. But instead, the angel is drawn to the preacher's young, lively wife. So I hope you guys have seen any of these movies. And if you haven't, that you go and watch them. I know as we enter in the week of Christmas, I'm going to be spending so much more time with my family watching these beautiful shows and movies um, just because tis the season. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you go to Netflix, I wanted to just throw this out there. There is a section that you can type in Christmas and so many beautiful, amazing Christmas movies come out. So not just black ones, but also like random ones that we've not seen before, like little spinoffs and different things. Or I mean, look, even this type of dark comedy one. Uh, I'm not going to watch that, but yeah, there's just so many different things that you can do and watch and yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fun on here. There is a particular one with Vanessa Hudgens. She's like a princess. Oh my gosh. I love that series. Uh, what is it called? It's called like, yep, here it goes. A princess switch. So she has a twin ultimate. I'm not going to tell you guys, sorry, just kidding. Just go to Netflix and look up A Princess Switch and you have to watch all of them. Here goes the third one. And it's just, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, happy holidays, you guys. I hope you are having a beautiful Vlogmas season. Again, thank you so much for tuning in each and every single day, each and every week. You guys are amazing and I love y'all. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I just want to wish you.